is your Friday, all my quilting friends. It's great to have y'all with me again today. I appreciate y'all being here. I am getting ready to start a project that is going to take me a little bit to work on, so we may see it in a few videos. But what I want to do today is go over importing designs that you've purchased from another website because I purchased some designs that I'm going to be using in this project and I need to get them onto my robotic system. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to go over that with you guys and show you how to do that um, since some of you are new to us and may have missed that video in the past um, and I'm going to show you how I do that. So let's go ahead and look at my robotic system. All right. So we have in the underside of my robotic system, I've got my USB stick plugged in. So that's already there. I have downloaded the files that I purchased onto my USB stick and we use QLI, QCC, and DXF files. Um, I find that the QLI ones work the best. So I have my basic screen open here and we are going to go to patterns. And now that I'm in patterns, I want to go down to my import export tab. And when I highlight that on this top section of my display is where I have the area that we're going to work with to bring our files into our Butler robotic system. So I'm going to show you a couple different ways to do things. That way you can choose what's going to work best for you. We're going to start with um, just the quick and simple way. So I've got my USB stick plugged into the back of my display and I'm just going to import one file and it's already got the word import chosen for me here. So we're going to leave that as imported. So I know where to find that quick and easy. It says specify an existing tag for your import and it chose import. But if we wanted to change that, we can touch on this and it's going to give us our whole list of tags and we can choose a different one if we wanted to. But since we're importing a design, I'm going to leave it as imported. I'm going to touch on the button that says import file and it asks me to select a storage location. Now, because I'm using that USB stick, my storage location is an external storage location. So I'm going to hit external and now you can see what's on my USB stick. I'm going to choose the file that I want to import onto my robotic system, and it's this one that says Fireworks. It's now been put down here under File Name, and all I have to do is hit Open over here on the right-hand side of my display, and I have finished my import. One item is imported to the tag Import. So I'm going to hit my check mark. And I'm going to go look and double check that that happened. So I'm going to go up to patterns and I'm going to look on my tag list here and there's the word imported. So when I touch that, there is my fireworks file. So I can now use that to quilt. The other way we can load things is importing an entire folder. So maybe you've purchase multiple designs and you put them all in a folder and you want to download multiple designs at once. You can touch import folder. Once again, I'm pulling these off a USB stick. So I'm going to use external storage location. And I've got a folder here that says wing borders. So I'm going to choose my wing border folder. It comes down here at the bottom. I'm going to hit choose and I've now finished my import with two imported items and it's all saved for me. I'm going to hit my check mark and I'm going to go back to patterns and double check that they are there. So I've got imported and wait a minute, they're not there. Why aren't they in imported? Well, because I imported an entire folder, it's going to be under a tag that was 
the same name as what the folder was. So if I go back to filter and scroll down, I'm going to find those under a new tag called wing border because that's what the folder that I had set up was called wing borders. So if I open that, oops, sorry, if I open that, there are the two files that was in that folder wing border. So if I had 10 designs in this, it would have loaded all 10 designs, but I only have two. So when you import a folder, it doesn't go under imported, it goes under the name of the folder that you have your files in. Now I'm gonna go and load one more time. I'm gonna go back to import export, but this time I'm gonna use this little button up here that says add a new tag. I find this very helpful when I purchase designs for a specific project. That way I can load them into a tag named something that will work with the project I'm working on. And that way I know what I'm looking for and they're always in the place I want them to be. So I'm gonna hit add a new tag and now I get a keyboard. So I'm going to name my tag something that's gonna go along with my upcoming project. And my upcoming project is gonna be called Scissor Quilt. So I'm gonna type that in and that's appeared up here at the top and I'm gonna hit my check mark and now I've got a new tag available to me and I'm going to hit my import, that button that said import and look for that new tag that I created and right there it is, scissor quilt, so I'm gonna highlight that and it took over the space where it said imported. So that's where my designs are gonna go to now. Instead of saying imported, it's gonna go into the tag scissor quilt. I'm gonna open my button that says import file, hit external because they're saved on that USB stick. And now I'm going to choose the design that I want to go into the file for my scissor quilt. I've highlighted it here. It's come down here across the bottom of my screen. I'm going to hit open and it's now finished importing, but it's put it in the tag scissor quilt. If we go back to our patterns and double check it's there, I'm gonna come down my tag list and scroll until I find my tag scissor quilt. And right there is the design that I loaded. So there's a couple different ways on how you can import files. You can directly go and have it go straight into the tag imported. You can import a file of designs and that way you can do multiples at one time. Just remember it's not gonna go under the tag imported. It's gonna go under the name of what you have your file named as. Or you can choose a brand new name for what your tag is gonna be and it's helpful if you name it after the quilt that you're working on. That way you know exactly where to find all of those designs you've just loaded for when you're working on a specific quilt and you've purchased specific designs for it. I hope this was helpful for you guys. I know it takes a little bit of practice sometime loading those files, especially if you're new to the robotic system and this isn't something you've done before. I hope this was helpful and I hope y'all have a great weekend to come. Thanks so much for joining us.